How's it guys? So, my mate Tom and I, we just crossed the Botswana border at Martin's Drift and we're going to be in Botswana for the next nine days and it's going to be awesome. Today we're heading to Kubu Island and you know, border crossing not too bad. Keep a cool head and you'll be through in about an hour. Lots of trucks, so they obviously take a bit longer to get through. But we just pulled over and had a nice cup of coffee and some breakfast next to the side of the road. And yeah, we'll head to Palapaye or Palapi, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Stock up on some food for tonight because we're on Kubu Island tonight. And yeah, it should be a great day. Hitting the road after stocking up at Palapi meant that we had a long drive to Kubu Island. Our drive today from Johannesburg would take around 13 and a half hours. Beware of livestock on the road and you have to slow down often for the 60 km an hour speed limits through the towns. Eventually we arrived at the Mkhari Khari Pan's Adventure Camp Viewing Deck. Right, so we're at the Mahari Hari Pan's adventure camp, the viewing deck, and those are the pans directly behind me. So it's time to let the tire pressures down now. It's really windy, so sorry if you guys can't hear me, but probably 1.2 on the front, 1.5 at the back, 1.2 in the trailer. Using this ARB tire deflator, and it works really well. Deflates them quite quickly and it's accurate, which is the most important thing. So, as you can see, I'm using my Echo 5 trailer for this trip. I wouldn't, well, I don't have the confidence as much as I would have with my Desert Wolf, but so far it's performing really well. Towed really nicely on the way here. And now the really rough stuff starts, so let's see how it performs. The Makhari Khari salt pans are some of the largest salt pans in the world. And please stick to the main tracks to preserve this natural environment. Overlanders are guilty of leaving the main track and destroying their environment. It was now time to tackle the very dusty road from the viewing deck onto the salt pans. The road is characterized by soft fine dust as well as being lined with shepherd trees which offer the needed greenery in such a dry desert environment. After crossing the vet fence around 30 kilometers from Kubu Island, we eventually made it to the Baobab at the entrance to Kubu. Having pre-booked a campsite, we realized that there were only a couple hours of daylight left, so decided to make a coffee and spend it at this amazing tree. So guys, we arrived at Kubu Island, very windy, sorry if you can't hear me. Absolutely amazing. This place amazes me every time. In the middle of the Mahari Khari salt pans, there's an island full of baobabs. The baobabs on Kubu Island have been dated to be over a thousand years old. This area is completely untouched and the campsites are very basic. They only offer a long drop toilet. They also offer a bright pit. You need to bring your own bright grid though. I love Botswana. This place is absolutely amazing. Just the spiritual significance. Your whole mood changes when you get here. It's just, yeah, difficult to explain. Having set up camp, it was now time to enjoy a sunset after a long day in the car. 
but what a day it was. After putting the meats on the fire, it was time to go and enjoy what Kubu Island has to offer. Good morning guys, what a great night we had last night. So I'm sure you'll see from all the still images we got on the pan with the big baobab and we got some crackers and what a peaceful night. Obviously not a sound while we camped, no wind, a little bit chilly this morning but what we're going to do now before we pack up, just going to take the car, drive around the other side of the island to where there's some rocks, make some coffee enjoy the sunrise, get back here, pack up the trailer and then head to Mound via Guetta. This is about 160 k's of rough dirt but yeah what a great night it was last night and nice and peaceful with the bird calls this morning but let's go enjoy the sunrise. great is that what a cracker of a sunrise Kubu Island September 2019 after enjoying the last few minutes of the sunrise we decided to pack up and hit the road to Guetta what an adventure this was going to be
so we've got about another 65 kilometers to Guetta where we'll fill up, pump up tires, then another 200 kilometers to Mount. And we'll just stop at the Woolworths there today and also fill up water tanks, fuel tanks. And tomorrow morning we pick up our meat from Delta Meat Deli. And then we head into the Moremi tomorrow. So we're staying at Audi Camp in Mount. Whipping up a biltong and cheese roll for us. Master Chef Botswana. Arriving at Audi Camp, we decided to set up the tent, go and inspect the ablution block, and go and have a nice meal at the restaurant to save us cooking that evening. The ablution blocks were spotless and the food was great. So we just had a lacquer dinner at the restaurant, food was pretty good, had a nice shower, camp is set up here at Audi Camp in Mound and right now I'm just boiling some water and I've just been downloading the footage and backing it up from today and you'll I tell you we got some really great shots and yeah I just wanted to thank you guys for watching the video. And I'll see you tomorrow in another video where we head into the Okavango Delta, into the Moremi Game Reserve. And we're staying at Northgate or Kwai Campsite tomorrow night. So I'll see you guys in the morning with another video. In the next episode, we enter the Moremi Game Reserve. We cross the Kwai River Bridge. We enjoy some amazing wildlife. And a hyena pays us a visit. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.